many Dutchess County residents who use the public transportation to get to and from work would like to see some changes made to the transit system. More workers to have more buses and working on Sundays and you know there's people that work at nighttime and they have no way home. The loop bus or Dutchess County Transit as it is now known as has a tendency to be late or leave earlier than scheduled. Cynthia Ruiz, who has been the Dutchess County Transit Administrator for seven years, believes many of the latenesses are not all on the bus drivers. I'll tell you that, uh, you know, we've been looking at the numbers and the, and the buses are running on time. So maybe in the beginning of the H route, which is just started in January, um, maybe some of the buses ran a little bit late only because it was something new. But for the most part, they should be running on time. The only buses that run a little bit late are on Friday nights coming out of the mall because it gets really busy and sometimes the buses run a little bit late. Another big issue for many passengers is there are no buses on Sundays, forcing many to pay ridiculous cab prices. I had to uh, get to work at Bugaboo Creek, charge me like 20 something dollars just to get. Cynthia and the Transit Center know Sunday buses are a big issue but are caught in a dilemma. Sunday service is a big issue uh, throughout the county. So. Because of the limited budget and a limited amount of hours drivers can drive. Under the Department of Transportation rules, they can only drive a certain amount of hours for a certain amount of days, leaving Sunday as their full rest period. Reduce our other service and stay in the budget, of course, reduce the other service hours during the week, um, or we would have to increase our budget. And that is, uh, that's a big deal because we are funded with county dollars, which come from taxpayers. And I know the county executive is very concerned about us making sure that we stay in our budget. So we have to make sure that we, you know, serve the people without going over budget. New York, I'm Brandon Cologne, LTCC News.